breeding nest for anxiety and playing tricks with your mind. Babe, listen, I'm really sorry that we're here anymore. Yeah, but why here? As soon as the sun rises, we can go to bed. <gasps> Babe, get out the room. Babe, get up. Get. Listen, I'm really sorry that we're here. You know I don't want to be here either. You know how this place gets to me under my skin. Yeah, but why here? Why can't we just done it at home? You know... <sighs> Listen, we're going into a lockdown, okay? Everywhere that sells electricity, gas, we can't get it anymore. Yeah, but why here? Well, we don't have anywhere else. What are we supposed to do, move in with Dixon? Look, as... We... As soon as we run out of electricity, we're living in the dark ages. Alright, could you please just do me a favor? Just help me pack in some of the stuff. Help me bring it inside. Come on. We don't have a choice now. Andrew, the cupboard opened and I know that it was shut. I promise I will protect you, okay? You're just going to have to get used to weird things like that. It's normal here. But I promise, I will protect you. Mm-hmm. You can't stay up all night. We have to go to bed at some point. No. I don't think I can go sleep here. Not until sun rises. As soon as the sun rises, we can go to bed. <sighs> it's not for another 45 minutes. It's literally almost 6 a.m., babe. Not in the dark. Not in the dark. <sighs> Babe, look. It looks like that they're stopping people. The police are, and they're not letting anybody leave town anymore. We might actually be stuck here for a few months. Yeah, well, it's bound to happen. Right, so. We are on day three, and already in this short amount of time, um, it's uh, already starting to take effect. Um, this house, because of the entity here, you breathe. It's a breeding nest for anxiety and playing tricks with your mind. Um, this is, there, there's some personal stuff that I'm going to have to discuss at some point that I have not told very many people, but it, it, I'm not the only victim to the games that this house can play with your mind. Excuse my breathing. I'm It's just, being here for long periods of time can make you feel like the world is ending. That's how it honestly feels. And my, my dad suffers the same thing here. He started once I moved out. Before I moved out, I used to get this all the time and then I was okay when I got as far away from this place as possible. But as soon as I come back, I feel like it just latches on to me. I'm going to have to do this interview later. I can't right now. Just stop rolling.
Right, um, sorry about that. I got a lot that I'm going to discuss, disclose, because I don't know how this quarantine situation is going to go. Um, it's quite common in this house to have these sort of, I don't know if they're panic attacks or just something gets in your head, right? So I'm going to just lay out the whole story. I know a lot of you guys probably already know this if you've seen videos from this place before, but let's just uh, break it down. Um, I believe that this house has a very seriously evil entity living here, alright? It affected me when I first lived here. I would have these episodes while here. Um, we'd have things moving, pianos playing on their own. Uh, there's an old one upstairs that plays on its own. Um, Footsteps, EVPs, people talking when there's nobody here. Uh, horrible, horrible nightmares. Um, but more importantly, it, it's, it drains you really bad. When I lived here, um, I had these episodes where if I thought the world was ending. Um, I was in communication with an entity that claimed to be the devil. So. I never believed it to be the Christian devil that lives here. But whatever it is, might as well be on par with it. So, um, I've since moved out of this house, uh, and it seemed to, the, the, the connection, the latch it had on me has now seemed to shift onto my family, um, my dad being affected the most. Now, I haven't really discussed this much on the channel, um, but there's a lot of serious things happening behind the scenes that are kind of heartbreaking um, and really freaky like on an evil evil nature okay so I'm going to discuss it now um, my family is not well anymore not due to age not due to health nothing like that it's due to something latching onto them and my dad especially seems to be getting the same symptoms I had, in which I am now having again now that I'm here. We had to come here because of this quarantine and everybody panic buying. We have lost the ability to get food because all our markets in our town were shut. As soon as we found out that there was going to be a lockdown, we fled to the south to stay here. As much as we didn't want to, we didn't have much of a choice. There would have been no way for us to get electricity because only supermarkets were open and uh, basically those were, they were the only places that used to do electricity and gas for our house. They don't do it anymore. So we would have been literally living in the stone age once our power ran out. So this is why we're here and as you know, with the new rules, we can't leave anymore. Now. It's a sensitive topic, but my dad's been affected. Now my dad has been one of the most sensible, like, all around normal people I've ever known. He's never had outbursts, never, nothing like that. But after I left, all of a sudden, he's come down with something. Something that has not and cannot be diagnosed. He's had these fits where he believes that the world is ending he can't think straight he can't eat he can't talk um he's wasting away he's literally lost so much weight like he looks like skin and bones now it's concerning because i believe that the the demon here the entity is trying to kill him So basically, when he has one of these apocalyptic moments in his mind, um, and keep on, he's never had this before. I've never had it before until I lived in this house. Um, he panics. He just wants to die. There's stories that I'm reluctant to share 
that I know behind the scenes just out of respect for, for him and the privacy of our family. But we have had police here uh, needing to try and calm him down. Um, it's really, really gotten bad. But seeing this as well, the, the dramatic weight loss, the sickness, uh, the inability to function while being told over and over by all the doctors he's seen that they don't know what it is. They've never seen it with anybody else. They've never had a patient with these symptoms before. They have no idea what, what's wrong, so they can't help him. My mom as well, as, as I've shown before, and I'll show you right here, she's been, basically she's been physically attacked by this entity. She was getting up to go to bed one night and it was as if, it was as if this demon straight up punched her in the face, right in the eye. Knocked her flat down the stairs, she cracked her skull, uh, she broke her wrist. Um, she just ended up, like, on the ground in a pool of her own blood, which the blood stains from that night are still there. Obviously we haven't, they haven't changed the carpets or anything, but it's just a reminder. So. Now we're keeping that very, you know, making sure that we're always holding on to something. We have to be really careful. Whatever is here wants us dead. Just flat out. It wants us dead. And even in the last couple days of being here, I'm picking up on it too. It's the, the same apocalyptic feeling is happening. I'm... I'm as close to wanting to be where you are right now. I literally want to die right now. If you believe that dying is the solution, say the word these attacks to please tell me what happens after you die yeah we're we're pretty much stuck here for indefinite um, with this lockdown we don't actually know how long it's gonna be but if we can if we can look at other countries it's gonna be a long time and I fear that this is just gonna get worse so my goal while we're here will be to capture a hundred percent proof of this entity's existence I've done it before but I'm gonna get right back on it I'm gonna spend this time doing what I do best the channel's not called Proving Demons for Nothing, so we're going to prove that this demon's real. And I might consider having to find a way to cleanse the house, because I don't think I've ever done a proper cleansing here, and I don't know how that's going to react, how it's going to react. But before I do that, I am going to attempt to make it more powerful and try and capture what I can. I'm going to attempt to summon it forward, give it give it more of my energy so that I can show the world, right? And I'm scared. I'll be honest, I'm scared to do it. But I feel this is something that has to be done, it has to be sorted with once and for all. Especially knowing that I think if I don't do something about this, my family is, is going to end up dead before I know it. They are. Yeah, I mean, you guys who watch my videos, you know, you see a lot of our ghost hunts. I don't keep a lot of my personal life out there. But this is one of those cases where, you know... It's just, it's just what it is. These demon hauntings are real. It's scarily real. If you guys think it would be a good idea for me to get a 
cleansing or even some kind of exorcism done here during our time here, especially to potentially save my family? Let me know down below. And if you have any tips on how I can attempt this, leave them down below for me in the comments. Because uh, at this point, I'll take any advice that I can get. Right, so in order to summon this thing properly, I'm going to literally have to turn this room into a summoning circle. I need scissors. <laughs> Alright, so that is arts and crafts. With proven demons. Who says quarantine can't be fun, eh? As I said, this starts tonight. Okay, so I'm turning the camera on quickly because I put the bear, this is my EMF bear, picks up on electromagnetic frequency, something we believe spirits and entities use or are made of. Is that right? Is that you? Are you attracted to the star? She's giving off a lot of energy. Do you want me to partake in some of this tonight with you and you can feed off my energy? See, typically you would think you'd have to perform an evocation to get, like, a, a, basically summoning a demon or the devil, but considering the fact that whatever lives here is already here, you don't have to really evoke it. But this one is really, really intelligent. Don't take that as a compliment. I know what you're up to. I believe you're trying to kill my family. You're sick, you know that? Whatever. I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to find out exactly what you are. How do you feel about me trying to get rid of you? about it. Thinking that this thing... Holy crap. Just thinking that this thing really wants to kill my family. Do you want me dead? Devil, I'm calling you in tonight. Now that has worked, the devil should be able to communicate with me.
feed off my energy. If the devil is here, can you say, I'm the devil, please? Devil, I just heard you whisper, I'm the devil. He just said good night. I find really uncomfortable. It, it almost sounded taunting in a way. But for the sake of tonight, Olivia, we're gonna have to actually go to bed before the sun comes up. But I'm gonna keep camera here anyway, just in case. Cause... Babe, get up. Get. Get out. Babe, get out the room. The freaking door just opened. What? I'm not sleeping in here. I'm staying up. You didn't wake up or anything to that. It wasn't anything. It was fine. No, I watched that thing open on its own. No, go play ball, please. You saw it. I know you saw it. Look at it. Hold on, look at her. You know you saw it too. You were up with me. lucky because she sleeps like a rock right she literally sleeps like Snorlax from Pokemon you can't wake her up when she goes to bed <sighs> she's a lucky one Jesus. 